Visit the Christ Hospital Heart and Vascular Center say that we may soon have new guidelines for taking medications after heart procedures. They recently participated in one of the largest trials ever conducted on this issue. Medical reporter Liz Bonus tells us more about it in today's Medical Edge. <laughs> It's been just about five years, Joe Moosey told me, since he began having symptoms that something was wrong with his heart. I had to, I had to walk from the parking lot and inside, and within a week's period, I couldn't make it to the, couldn't make it to the building. I had to stop because I was out of breath. Tests showed Moosey had a blocked artery. A team under the direction of Dr. Dean Kariakis, an interventional cardiologist, put in a stent or wire mesh tube to open it up. It looked much like this one. They also placed him on medications. As part of a clinical trial, he was then followed on those medications. They included aspirin and another medication to reduce the risk of blood clots. The goal of this trial was to find out if taking those medications for a year after that stent placement was not as good as taking the medications for 30 months or more. And what they discovered was pretty remarkable. It could actually change what's recommended for patients from here on. The exact or optimal duration of treatment with medications following a stent placement in a coronary artery to the heart has really not been known. Well, at least a year was the general guideline Kariakis' team discovered. If you stop the therapy at 12 months compared to extending the therapy to 30 months, patients getting 30 months had a 71% reduction <coughs> in clotting of the stent, the stent thrombosis, and a 53% relative reduction in heart attack. Until new guidelines come out, based on this trial, it is suggested now you ask your own doctor about when to discontinue medications that you might be taking after stent placement. As for Joe Moosey, he's feeling great. And more importantly, he's feeling grateful that he got early help and proper treatment to fix a broken heart. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, made, it makes you think about life and how short it is and, you know, how important every day is. At the Christ Hospital Heart and Vascular Center, Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. If you would like more information on the trial or others at the Christ Hospital Heart and Vascular Center, we have a link for you. Go to local12.com, click on the Get It button.